you're going to learn about VAT. Okay, it's probably the most stable thing in our country right now is that they're going to charge you VAT. No matter what happens, rain or shine, flooding or no flooding, load shedding or not, you are going to get charged VAT wherever you go. All right, there's an old saying, uh, two things that are certain in life, that's death and taxes. All right, and VAT is a type of tax. So you are certainly going to experience VAT in your life. You cannot get away from it. Yeah, Chandler, it's not too bad. The VAT rate isn't that bad, but yeah, it would be nice if we could... Uh, have a bit of um, rest from all the taxes that we pay. Um, when, when I was younger, it used to be 14%, and then uh, people said it would never, ever change, and it changed, and it went up to 15 So you're going to experience it. Nothing you can do, you can't hide from it. Everyone's paying back. All right, so let's get cracking with this lesson. All right, what is VAT? VAT stands for Value Added Tax. It is a special tax that is put on the value of all goods and services that are sold in this country. Okay, so if you're selling a product, you're going to be charged VAT on that product. If you're selling a service, uh, you're going to be charged VAT on that service as well. So most companies are VAT registered and they charge VAT, especially the big companies. Um, so whatever you buy, whether it's a good or a service, you're going to be charged VAT on it. You'll find later on that there are some products in the shops that uh, don't have VAT added on. We'll talk more about that later, but most products will have that 15% added onto the value of that product. Um, and it's important to know uh, how we calculate that value, especially if you're a business owner, you're gonna need to know how to calculate that on all the products that you sell. Yeah, Sita, I hope not. Hope that stays as it is or goes back down. I don't know. But it's 15% at the moment, 15% of all goods and services that are sold in our country. All right. So that calculation, 15%. All right. Just do a quick recap on percentage calculation. If you want to know what is 15% of a product, well, let's say let's start with something like um, 28%. If you want to know what is 28% of uh, 250 Rand, a right, simple VAT calculation. This of, when they say of, we can change to multiplication. So 28% times 250. And uh, you can press 28% on the calculator straight as just like that. Let's just check it out. So 28%, the percent button, button is shift and left brackets. So if you say 28% times 250, it should do the calculation for you. All right, so there we go, 70. So 20% of 250 Rand is 70 Rand. Now, there are other ways to represent 28%. You don't have to type out the percent button. And I'll show you later on when typing out the percent button uh, is not such a good idea. So I, I actually don't teach my students to type this 28% as it is. I always teach them to type a fraction. Because you're going to get to finance later on where um, the interest rate is expressed as a percent as well. And when you do your finance questions and they ask you to try and determine the percentage interest rates, this typing in 28% like this confuses a lot of students. So, I mean, I don't mind if you guys do it. Just be careful. You must understand what that 28% means. Okay, so 28% can be represented as... Um, in a couple of ways, actually, you can represent it as a fraction, 28 over 100, and you can also represent it as a decimal 0, 0,28. Okay, so both of these are ways that we can represent the 28%. I, I teach my students to represent a percent as a fraction like that over 100, um, but like we see on the calculator, writing it out like that will get you the same answer. If I go back and change this now to a fraction, 28 over 100, and press enter, it's gonna give me the same answer. So it's all the same thing. If I change this to uh, 0, 0.28, because 28 divided by 100 is 0, 0.28, again, it'll give me the same answer. So 28%, 28 over 100, or 0, 0.28, are all the same thing. Okay, you can use each one to get you the correct answer. All right, yes, well done, Giovante, very good. All right, so those are all three ways to represent VAT. 
um, on the calculator, I know a lot of students type out 28%, which is fine. As long as you understand um, what you're typing out mathematically, it's important. It will be important later on, I promise you. Okay, let's get into it. So there's a couple of ways we're going to do calculations with VAT. The first one is uh, calculating the VAT portion of a sale only. Okay, so this is just one, this is just asking how much VAT are you paying on this product? Not the product's price, including that. How much VAT are you paying? They can ask this question a couple of ways. How much VAT was uh, charged on a product? What is the VAT portion on a product? What is the VAT percent, um, portion on its own? There's a couple of ways I can ask the question, but we're talking about just the VAT portion of a sale. Okay. So for example, here we've got a question that says, um, calculate the VAT on a product priced at 125.88, VAT excluded. So this price here, 125.88 has not got VAT on it. And they want us to work out what will the VAT be? So if you owned a business and you wanted to sell a product for 125.88, you would have to try and work out when you charge your customer the full price, including that, how much VAT are you actually charging your customer? And in shops, when you go to the shop and you look at your till, they're supposed to tell you how much VAT you're paying as well. <clears throat> so it's important to know how to work out just the VAT portion. Okay, so what we can do is we can say VAT, which is always 15%. Uh, so 15 over 100 times... 125 rand, 88. Okay, now the answer for this is going to be the VAT portion, the VAT piece of 125 rand. So the answer can't be bigger than this. It's going to be a portion of this 125.88, a fraction of it. Okay, so when you look at your answer and you're getting a huge number like 150, you know you're doing something wrong. It's a portion of this. All right, so let's do this on the calculator quickly or well, you guys should be able to do it you should be able to give it to me very quickly yes well done 1882 all right good 1882 well done you all right so you guys are good with the back calculations so i'm going to use the fraction like i said you can interchange you can say 15 percent I uh, always use the fraction, it's just a, a habit. It's a 125 and 88. And then we need to press SD to get the decimals. So 18 rand 882. So this is what the calculator says 18882. And as always in math literacy, we need to round off to two decimal places. So I'm going to write this little squiggly sign here. And this little squiggly sign means round it off, not exactly 18 rand. Eight, uh, 88 cents oh, and a portion of the cent. We are rounding off here. Okay, so not we don't want to worry about the third decimal. So this will be 18 rand and 88 cents. Okay, so don't be scared by this little funny uh, equal sign here. All it means is almost equal to. All right, almost equal to. Very good. Ah, there we go. Come on with the two decimal places. Yes. And all level. Well done. Two decimal places. Good. That's what we'd like to see. Okay. You ready? You're going to try one on your own? This is your question. Look, it's posed a little bit differently, written a little bit differently. So it says, how much VAT is paid on a product if the VAT excluded price is 19 Rand 23? All right, let's see if you guys do that one. Should be quick and easy. Should take you one minute. Well, I'm sure we're getting answers. Uh, Kamal is usually pretty quick with his answers. I'm sure we're going to see him come up very soon with an answer. Please remember, if you want to ask any questions at all at any time, raise your hand. You're more than welcome to talk to us. It's not just me talking tonight. Oh, Vivian, well done. Vivian from Durban. Oh, we've got two different answers. Very interesting. Ah, oh, 
We've got different answers coming up. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, there we go, come okay with a two rand symbol. Well done. Chiyama, well done, good stuff. I love the fact that you guys are putting the rand symbol there, good stuff. Like Kia always says, always show your units. All right, Dave, well done. 288, all right, looks like everyone's getting 288. Let's check. Okay, so VAT, which is 15%. Times 19 rand 23. All right, calculate it, tell me. I'm gonna go back and just delete that number. And put in my new number. 2,8845. All right, 2,8845. And then rounding that off to two decimal places. We'll look at the eight. Will the eight change? Will the four change it? No, it's not going to. So we're gonna leave it like this two rand 88. Well done. Good job, guys and girls. Never forget the units. Yes, there we go. All right, well done. Nice and easy. So this is the VAT portion on a product that hasn't got VAT included on it yet. We just want to know how much VAT will be charged on this product. The calculation is really easy. The only difficult thing about these questions is how they pose the question. All right, that's the only way they can trick you. You know the calculation. It's it's interpretation of the question. So math literacy is a lot about interpretation. So just be careful on how they pose the question. All right, the next calculation we're going to do with that. Calculating the price with VAT included. Okay, calculating the price that has the VAT included. So we want to know, take this original value, uh, value of the product, tell us what is the price including the VAT, with the VAT already included. Okay, now I can know I know people are typing out there already. I can I can hear it. Even though your sounds aren't on, I know the calculators are working. I just want you to pay attention for a second. Okay. There's a very important thing that I want to show you here. So when we calculate the value with that included, there's two ways we can do it. The first way I know you know. All right. So what we do is we work out how much VAT do we have to add on to this value. And you do that by saying VAT, which is 15%, times 425 rand and zero cents. Okay, that's gonna give you an answer. Let me just do it up here. Of, let's do the calculator. 15 over 100 times 425 and zero zero cents. That's gonna give me an answer of 63 Rand 75. Okay, 63 Rand 75. This calculation we've just done is the VAT portion only. It hasn't been included yet. It's the VAT portion only. So all right, this is 63 Rand 75 VAT that you're gonna pay on this. Now we need to work out how much is this product with the VAT included. All right, so this, Word here included means put it on to the original VAT price. This was the VAT excluded price without the VAT. They want to know what is that price with the VAT included. So what we'll do is we'll say 425 and zero cents and we'll add on the VAT portion to that. Okay. Let's do that quickly. I've got my that already there, 6375, it's already rounded off. So I'm not going to clear the calculator. I can see it's two decimals. It's fine, it's ready to go. I'm just going to add on the 425. And there we have 488.75. And I'm sure if we check the answers, people have already got it there. All right, very good. Very good, 488.75. Very good, well done. So this is now the value of the products with that calculated. 
and include it onto that product. So 488.75. So when they ask you to do a, a question where you need to calculate the price that included, calculate the price that included, that price, if we look at the original value of 425, the new price with the VAT included is a little bit higher. Okay, so you can kind of see you're on the right track. It's a little bit higher than what it was. Okay, so that's one way of doing this. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but this is a two-step process. You've got to work out the VAT and then add the VAT on to the original value. All right. Does, can anyone unmute? Be brave now. Tell me if you know another way to do it, a quicker way to do it. Babalo. Yes, Babalo is back. Another way of doing it, you can say 425 times 100 plus 15 over 100. Yes, that is another way. Very good, Babala. Well done. Thank you for that. So what Babala says is take your 425 and multiply it by 115 over 100. Now, this fraction might look strange. Okay. I'll show you what, what's happening here. Okay, it's good to understand this because you can use the, the, the understanding of this later on when you get to finance um, uh, interest. Okay, so if, if we multiplied, if I take the 115 away and multiplied this 425 by 100 over 100, that's multiplying it by one, isn't it? It's just gonna give me 425. So if it's 100 over 100, it's multiplying by one, that fraction 100 over 100 is one. So all I'm gonna do with this is get an answer of 425, whoopsie. Okay, so what Pabano says is don't multiply it by one because you're just gonna get the original value. You need to multiply it by the original value, which gives you 425 plus the VAT portion on that. So where he's put the VAT portion is here at the top. So he's put 115 at the top there. So this 15, 115 here, has now got the VAT included. So what this is doing is say, you're gonna get your original value back, which is 425, with the VAT portion already included in this. Okay, so when we do this new calculation now, let's show you what it looks like. So 425 and zero cents times fraction, 115 over 100, okay. Ah, 488,75, we get the same answer. You see that? Now I know what you're thinking. Dale, why? Yes, Plumedi, we're calculating uh, the price with VAT included. And who's this Yeah, Giovanni, so method one dominates. Giovanni, you're not wrong. Method one will get you the answer every single time. You know what, when people are used to a method that they don't want to change the method, it works every time, why change it? It's fine. I don't say you mustn't use method one. It's a two-step process though. So it's a little bit slower, but as long as you understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, it works every time, it's fine. I like method two. And there's a reason why I'm going to refer to method two here tonight, because there's going to be a calculation later on, which is the reverse of method two. It's going to look completely different to method one. And you might be like, well, method one, I'm used to that. And then you do something strange there. What's going on? I'll show you. So. Method two here, I'm going to focus on this a little bit. You stick to method one if you want. Please do not change for me. Uh, I'm going to talk about method two a little bit more because we're going to use it in reverse later on and you're going to see how it works. Okay. All right. So now watch this. Now, this fraction that Pabalo gave us here, I want to play around with that a little bit more. I want to simplify that fraction even more. Make it look even more simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that fraction and put on my calculator. 115 over 100. That's the fraction of the Bible gave us, and it works. And I'm going to press equals here. Make it more simple. And let's see what it looks like. 1, 1,15. So you could actually multiply 425 by 1,15 and get the answer with that included. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. And I'm going to refer to it later on when I, when I get to a different question. So 1, comma one five and we can think about it like this multiplying by one 
It's just going to get you the 425 Rand back. Okay, 425 times one just gets you 425 Rand back. It's not going to change anything. And then multiplying by comma one five, because isn't that the same as zero comma one five, comma one five? Okay, if I separate the two, you got one and you got comma one five. Comma one five is the VAT, right? So we're multiplying by one comma one five, we're multiplying by the whole number 425 and we're gonna get the VAT portion onto this as well. So this VAT portion here is 63 Rand 75. My key is probably gonna kill me because I'm not showing my units. Let me quickly put them in there. I don't wanna get into trouble. All right, put my units there. Lol, Dale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we can see there that in this in this um, decimal number one comma one five, the one represents the original number four hundred twenty five. The comma one five is the VAT being calculated already, which is sixty three and seventy five, and we're putting it all together in one decimal number to get our final answer of four hundred and eighty eight point seventy five. Okay, now. I'm going to ask you to do a question, and I know what's going to happen. As soon as I ask you to do this question, you will use the method that suits you, that works for you. It's absolutely fine. Do both methods. Sonia, that's actually a brilliant question. Usually, this question in an exam is only two marks. One for the answer and one for the method. Which means you're doing a lot more work for method one. Nothing wrong with that. You're doing a lot more work, two steps for method one to get the same answer. That's worth two marks. This is not a three mark question. This is a two mark question. Okay. So I'm not shooting down method one. If, you, if you're happy with it and you want to use it, use it. But please have a look at method two tonight. Do not shoot it down. All right. Yeah, sure. We've got all kinds of internet problems. Al Zondi. Where's Alzandi? So what if the VAT rate is 60%? Does that mean it's going to be 100? Yes, Alzandi, good question. All we do is change it to 116 over 100. In fact, if you want to calculate any percentage of a number, you can use the same method. If you want to work out what is 28% uh, of a value and include it into the value, all right? So this is not just what is 28%. This is what is 28% of this value and also include it to give me the final answer. And you can use the same method. Okay, you can either do what Babala said. We're not doing this for that. I'm just showing you. You could say uh, 128 over 100. You can do that, or you can write the decimal format, which is 1,28. What this says is, give me the original value, and also 28% of that original value. Okay, so it's actually quite useful. And I'm telling you what. There's a reason why I'm showing you. That. I'm not trying to confuse you guys. There's a reason. It's coming just now. Yes, whatever method comes to your head, it's a very good point. You're going to be, you often are stressed. I'm not going to say you're going to be stressed. You could be stressed in an exam and your brain has got method one entrenched built in there. It's fine. You can use method one, but just watch. I want you, I'm showing you this for a reason. The reason is coming. Be patient. Be patient. Let's have a look. All right. So this is calculating the VAT included price the price with the VAT included. Now, it's your turn. Now, if you want to use method one here, use method one, but try and use method two. Just try it, just try. Let's see what happens. All right, try new things. Let's see what happens. There's a question for you. Calculate the VAT included price on an item costing 4,213 rand and eight cents which is excluding VAT. All right, so that is excluding VAT. They want the VAT included price, the price including the VAT. Off you go. Yo. Evo. I wonder if he was using method one or method two yet. All right, we've got answers coming in thick and fast already. I would, love, I would love to know which method yeah, you guys you know, are using. We're always dealing with fast fingers. Yo, these guys got fast fingers. Ah. Evo method two. It's good to try it. Just try it out. Or level C. The first people using method two, yeah. 
Nothing wrong with method one. I'm going to repeat it. Nothing wrong with it. It works. If you want to use it, use it. But just watch what happens sooner. Sooner I'm going to show you something. Ah, Sonia with the units. Yes. And the correct two decimal cents. I like it. Babalo, well done. All right. I'd love to know what method everyone's using. If you want to type in to chat what method you're using, I'd be very interested to know. All right, Sonia. Thank you. All right. How did it go, Sonia? What did it feel like? Did it feel okay using method two? Did you feel like you were um, leaving an old friend for a new friend? Ah, come on, keeping it safe. Method one, Giovanni, method one. Yeah, stick with what you know. 1.5 times exactly. There we go. Well done. That's the exact calculation. Well done. Well done, Kawe. Recording, recording in progress. Recording in progress. Recording in progress. Recording in progress. Looks like we've got gremlins like in the system. <laughs> Some funnies happening. All right, trying new things, good. I felt like a mathematician. <laughs> mathematician, well done, Sonia. Okay, let's have a look. Let's try it out. I'm gonna do method one and method two. Okay, I'm gonna do both methods here. So method one on the left and method two on the right. Let's put a line down the middle. All right, so method one, I need to work out 15% on this value, 4,213 and eight cents. And when I do this, I get calculator, help me out chat. There's my friend, it must do the work for me. Okay, times four, two, one, three, comma, oh, eight. Six, three, one, comma, nine, six, two. Six, three, one, comma, nine, six, two. Dale, why are you writing all the decimals? Because I only change, I only ever, ever, ever round off at the end of a question. It's very important. Okay. And I'm going to add this. I'm going to say plus to four. Oh, let me write it out first. Because you have to show all your calculations. The instruction on the exam will actually say that show all your calculations. So 631, comma, 962. And this gives me, all right, let's plus it on here. Yeah, so 4213, comma, 08. All right, 4845042. Four eight four five oh four two, and then we're going to round it off. Just chop off that last little decimal. Two o four. Okay, there we go. All right, very good. Let's see. Yes, we're getting that answer. Good, 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 good. And people are using method two. All right, good. It's good to try new things. Here we go. Method two. Method two says take your value, or you can write the, the decimal number first. Let's try that. So one comma one five times four two one three comma oh eight equals. All right, let's do on the calculator. Let's see. So one comma one look one comma one five times four two one three comma oh eight. Bam, there it is. Four eight four five oh four two. And then round it off, just like we did before. Okay, it's quick and easy, ladies and gents. It's quick and easy. Um, like I said, I'm not shooting down method one. You stick with method one. Hmm, nine six two. So we should be. You should be. Uh, Javante, you should be getting common nine six two. Uh, for your VAT calculation portion, and then 042 at the end, and then you chop off that two. All right, that, that third decimal of two shouldn't change. You should still see this third decimal of two. Good question. So this, this third decimal two here, which comes from the VAT calculation portion, should still stick around there because we've got two decimals in our original value. And the 08 is going to add to the 96. 
All right, so that third decimal two should still be there in the end. Okay, but you just chop it off because you only want two decimals. Good question. Um, all right, so that's method one and method two of working out the VAT included price on an item. So this is, what is the price of the item? Work out the VAT and include it in the price. Okay. I'm glad you guys are trying new things because look what's coming up now. This question is the one that causes problems. Calculate the original price with the VAT excluded. All right, now what does that even look like? Here's a question. Let's have a look at it. Calculate the VAT excluded price if the price that is including VAT is 79 Rand 81. So they've done the VAT calculation. They've put it on. The price is 79.81. But now I'm saying to you, hold on. I didn't show you the calculation. What was the original price of the item? Okay. Now, watch this. I'm going to use two methods. The first, me first method is going to be based on method one. Pablo. Yes. Tell us how you would do this. I would say... Uh, 79,81 times 100 over 115. Uh, uh, I'm going to write that over here. We're going to have a look at that. Good. All right. We're gonna, I'm written that method there. We're going to come back to it. Okay. I'm going to write it on the right-hand side there. Not because it's right, because it's just on the right-hand side. Okay. Now, I think this is how some people... Are going to calculate this. I think what they're going to do is they're going to work out 15% of this value. I've seen people do this so many times. They work out, they say, ah, we're going to work out 15% of this and we're going to minus it off. We're going to cut it off. So what they do is they say 15% times 79,81. They say it's 11 Rand 9715. 11 Rand 9715. And I'm showing all my decimals. I only round off at the end. Okay. And then what they do is they take 79 Rand 81 and they take off this value. They think the price without the 15%, all we do is work out what 15% of this is and then remove it. Well, let's see what we get here. So 79 Rand and 81 minus 11,9715. Should bring all my decimals. It gives me 678385. 678385 and round it off is 67 Rand and 84 cents. All right, why? Because we're looking at the second decimal and the eight will change it to a four. Okay, now. We can test if this method works by going in the opposite direction. So if this method works, then what we can do is take our 67 Rand 84 and do the VAT calculation like we did before and see what we get. Okay, we should get back to 7981. If this method works, we should get back to 7981. So I'm gonna use my shortcut method here and I'm gonna say, this is the portion without that, and I'm going to use all the decimals to be accurate because I want to get try and get back to that same number. This is the value without the VAT. I'm going to multiply this by 1,15, and I've proven to you that this method works. I promise you, we've seen in action, it does work. Okay, we should get 1781 if we add this VAT back on, right? So 67 from a 8385 times 1.15. And what do we get? 78 Rand 014275. 78 Rand 014285. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this number and this number are not the same. Okay, 
So working out that on 7,981 and subtracting it off is not going to work. Okay, so we need a different method here. So why I'm, why I'm putting emphasis on this, because you guys use method one to work out work out that on, a, on an item and then add it on. And then when you get to this question, you might think, ah, I'll just work backwards. I'll work out that on the value they give me in the question and then I minus it. Okay, it doesn't work like that. All right, it's not gonna work. So we can't use this method. Are there any questions? I'm sure people are thinking, what is going on? I'm sure there are people thinking, what is going on here, sir? What have you just done? I see all of and people have this, they don't have the same answers. <laughs> ah, they probably use the method on the right. I think they're trusting Babalo and they're using the method on the right. Okay, so I'll go over it one more time. So on the left, yeah, this is what people often do, but don't do this. They work out 15% of the value they give you in the question, which is supposed to be that included. And they get 11 rand and 97. Then they subtract that 11 rand 97 and they get 67 rand and 84. Okay, so it's not, it's not correct. It doesn't work out because if I take that 67 rand and 83 or 84 and I put the back back on, I'm getting 78 rand. It's not the same as the original value. So this method of working that or 15% of that original value in the question and then subtracting it is not going to work. Okay. We have to use a different method. Now for Balo's method, I'm going to write his there on the right and I'm going to do another one on the left. But let's have a look at Pabalo's here. So let's see what Pabalo's method gets. So we're going to do a check. We're going to say 79,81 and then multiply by a fraction, 100 over 115 off. 16 40 cents. Okay, we've got a value of 16 Now I'm going to show you another method very similar to Babalos. Okay, so if we go back up to method two here, what did we do in method two? We said to put the bat on, you times by 1,15. Well, guess what? To take the VAT off, you don't times by 1,15. You can also divide by 1,15. So I'm going to write that out here. So to take the VAT back off, you can divide by 1,15. Timesing by 1,15, we'll put the VAT onto a value. And if you have the value including the VAT and you want to take the VAT off, all you do is divide by 1,15. Let's see if this works. So 1781 divided by 1,15. There we go. Same as Babalo, 1640. I only show, wanted to show you this one method, but Probalo's method is also, also works here. Okay. Um, there's a reason why these things work the same because uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's the same math. You're actually doing the same math. It doesn't look the same, but you're actually doing the same math. I'm not going to go into tip and times and, and things like that, okay, um, with fractions. But these two calculations are exactly the same thing. So if you want to use Pabalo's method by saying, if you want to take that off, then put the 115 at the bottom of the fraction, that's fine. Or you can use mine, which says, uh, just divide by 1.15 instead of times and by 1.15. Ah, okay, so Billy, don't be lost. Any questions? Any questions, guys? Speak now. You've got to speak. If you're not understanding something, I'm more than happy to go over it again. But you've got to talk to me. Yeah, you won't come off on fire as usual. They need to be. Uh, ice cream uh, loads of ice cream tonight to cool them down a bit <clears throat> <laughs> all right so this method of working out what is the the price it's got that included already what was the original price without that that excluded okay 
Somebody. <laughs> Somebody. Anybody. <Hey>. Zane. Anybody. <laughs> then I'll do it for you again. Okay. I'm going to do two things here. All right. I'm going to take the same calculation and I'm going to go forwards and backwards. All right. I'm going to go forwards and backwards and then forwards again. So let's take the 6940. So we are saying that 6940 is the price without that. Okay. So I'm going to take just the 6940. Now, Zane, I know you know how to work out the price with that included. You would either use method one where you times by 15%, work out what is 15% of 6940, and then add it on. That's fine. But I taught you a new method tonight. I said, all you have to do, use the fraction like Barbara showed you, or times by 1.15. Let's do that. So here's the VAT excluded price, 6940. I want to work out what is the price with the VAT included on it. And we've got 7,981. Now someone comes to you and says, oh, hold on. Uh, let's pretend you didn't know it was 6,940 in the beginning. They're saying, okay, I see that's the VAT included price. What was the original price? Okay, show us what the original price is. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll take our 7,981 and divide by 1,15. Gets you back to 1640. Okay, so this 1640 is excluding the VAT, and the 1781 is including the VAT with the VAT included. And the second sum, we took the VAT included price, and then we try to find out what was the VAT excluded price. Okay. Well, Hang has a question. They say so for method two for exclusive, you swap the 100. Yes. Over 150. Yes. So in, in Pavalo's method, he put 115 over 100, 115 at the top. If you want to work out the VAT included price, we can say 1,15 times by 1,15. And then when you want to take the VAT off, you swap the fraction around. So it's 100 over 115 to take the VAT off. Or divide by 1,15. So, so one of the questions that says calcul calculate included VAT yeah so we can use this for working the VAT working out the VAT putting it on and then you just reverse it for taking the VAT off again to find out what was it before we put the VAT on all right so we're working forwards and backwards here okay um, and you you can choose to use Pavalo's fraction, or you can choose to use the times one comma one five divided by one comma one five. Um, just to remind you of what uh, what Pavalo had here. Where am I now? Here we go. So I'll do the same thing. So he said um, sixty nine and forty to work out what is the price, including the VAT. He multiplied by one hundred and fifteen over one hundred. And this would have given him 79 Rand 81. And what was the price without the VAT? If you want to take this VAT inclusive price and remove the VAT, he says times by 100 over 115. So that's what he does. And this gets you back to 69 Rand 14. Okay, so you can use that fraction and flip it over, or you can use the decimal number here times by 115 or divide by 115. It's up to you. Yes, but before you go, I want you guys to try this. Okay, before you go, Sonia, here's an example for you. While you're doing it, I'm going to do it, and you check your answer with mine. Okay. Do you guys quickly do this question? I'm going to use the divide by one comma one five method. Don't look at mine, you do yours. Okay. 
should do yours on your calculator or on your piece of paper, and then we're going to compare answers at the end. All right. 47478, there we go. Nice and easy. They are so quick. I wonder if it's because they want to leave the lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> they want to get out of here. Dude, obviously, like supper is ready or ice cream is ready to be dished up and they need to go get the ice cream. Well, they were going to send me a private message of their answer, and it was 47478. Yes, correct. Well done. Well done, everyone. Look how easy it is, eh? Look how easy it is. Now, often guys battle. They will work out 50% and try and minus it off. No, no, no. We've got quick, easy methods for this now. Okay. So this, it, it's a simple question. It's a real easy two-mark question. They can pose it three different ways when they talk about that. And if you remember these methods, you can get an easy two marks every single time. Easy peasy money in the bank. 